All right, welcome back to Uptick Updates. Brian, it's been a long time. It's good to see you again. How's everything? Pretty good. Yeah, it has been a while. Good to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, let's get some updates. Yeah, let's uh, let's uh, kick it off. So, uh, what's the current NFT situation? Huh? Market's kind of down these days, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So this is uh, uh well, uh, actually, uh, we're we're mon monitoring the market situation closely. Yeah, uh, uh, these times. Mm -hmm. So the whole crypto market is down. Uh, so we call it in the bear market. So uh, NFT is part of that, right? So I, I think it's not a, well, very active time, time right now. So I, 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 I even did some uh, uh, numbers uh, for Q2. Uh, for example, uh, in Q2, uh, the, the market cap of the overall NFT uh, market mm. uh, is down. Uh, Around seventy, uh, thirty-seven percent. The the at the beginning of Q two, the market size is about uh, uh well, thirty-seven billion. Now it's like a uh, twenty-three billion US dollar mm -hmm. equivalent. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the, another thing is uh, the single day trade volume, right? So that's another indicator of the market uh, activity. So mm -hmm. it it's also dropped and. 92 percent so uh, in the in the early april the top uh, volume uh, daily volume is uh, around like 570 million us dollar equivalent and now it's only the global nft transaction daily transaction is uh, only around like 40 million us dollar equivalent wow. so that's a huge yeah, that, that's a huge drop huge job yeah and, and also another number we we saw is uh the nft trade number trade i mean number of F nft trade mm -hmm. uh also dropped like uh, around 58 percent uh from uh, uh like a 500 uh, I, mean, I mean trade trader not the trade bar uh, it's a num users right so uh, the active users who trade nft Mm. Uh, it's dropped like a fifty-eight uh, percent. It's from uh, like a five hundred sixty k uh, to two hundred thirty k. Yeah, so so we, we we just grabbed some data from the some research uh, <laughs> channel so to have this uh, reality check, right? So so basically the market cap is down. Uh, the daily trade volume is down a lot, mm -hmm. and also the daily trade users uh, is also down uh, even almost half yeah. yeah so that's the situation right now yeah wow so, wow well nothing goes up in a straight line right and you know what they say buy yeah. low sell high so there might be some opportunities yeah. out there i guess it's time yeah. to work on infrastructure too right build yeah. build and build yeah. but i think by, by the way so before uh, infrastructure i i, I think uh it, the NFT market has uh, its own, uh, I would say, uh, characteristics. So it's not like a FT, like uh, those uh, uh, well, fungible token market. They, they are changing rapidly and yeah. in the huge volume quickly. NFT, because of the nature of NFT, most are like a ERC-721. So I, I, I see it's more like a slow transaction and, and asset. Right, so you, you need to list it and you need to bid for it. You yeah. need to buy it and then yeah. release it. It's not a, a massive a transaction, but it's a slow transaction. Mm. So that's one. This means uh, the NFT value won't change rapidly because the, the trade depth is not very deep, right? So, and, and the second part is the liquidity of NFT yeah. is also pretty low. Right. So, so, so now, even though we see the drop of NFT market, it doesn't mean that the existing NFT still can maintain such value uh, because it's just very slow and the liquidity is low. Right. So, so I, I think that actually make us feel so, yeah, this is a good timing to really think about what's the future of an NFT market. Uh, I, I'm pretty optimistic to that, but but we do need to think about that. Uh, so 
uh, how to really uh, project uh, the next uh, uh, phase of market, right? So like uh, the trend, the mm-hmm. trend. Uh, so it, it, uh, so uh, for example, uh, what I see uh, more needs from the users and the market is more like a functional NFT. It might play an important role in the future mm-hmm. because in the past, we are more focusing on the collectible artwork and the even PFP type of uh, NFT, right? Yeah. So that's a very good first wave or pioneer in the NFT market, but that's not enough. Uh, so because there's not enough value uh, uh, stored in this kind of NFT if the market is not active. But on the other side, the functional NFT or utility NFT uh, will play a more important role in our daily life. Uh, if we can adopt that into the NFT market in the next phase, uh, I can see uh, maybe it will invoke more kind of user cases. Yeah. Nice, nice, interesting. Okay. Any other predictions? So uh, functional NFTs, what, when do you see the market turning around? Do you think it's going to be down for long or it's hard to say? Oh, well, <laughs> it's hard to say, but I, I always say, yeah, we, uh, it, if the market is not very active, it's a good time to build, right? So we, we always need to make sure ourselves be ready uh, for, the, uh, for the next uh, step. And at the same time, uh, especially uh, for the NFT market, I think there's uh, still a lot of innovation uh, and can be happened. Uh, so we, we should not wait for that. Uh, mm-hmm. If, if uh, we're doing it good, so we can even lead some points of that, right? So yeah, I'm still optimistic to that because mm-hmm. there's so many use cases are not covered by NFT yet. Mm-hmm. So it's a good time to build. Definitely. Definitely. So what, what's the team working on these days? Are you working on some new features? Yeah, so we, we actually we have to keep enhancing uh, the NFT marketplace. You mm-hmm. know, in the past uh, two months, we, the major development we had uh, was, uh, uh, was the collection, right, uh, in NFT market. Mm-hmm. At the same time, uh, we also uh, add uh, a feature called folder. Uh, because uh, in the past, people are not uh, 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 issuing the collection type of NFT, but they, they released a lot of uh, ERC-721 NFT. But they still need to find a way to group them together, just like you have different fo- photo folder in your overall dire- direction, yeah. right? Yeah. So they can organize it uh, in a better way. Uh, so yeah, so we are keep uh, uh, enhancing that uh, in, in the marketplace uh, to to, to make sure the uh, creator find a, it's a better place, right? To post uh, their works and uh, also uh, list to the market. And the most important, uh, we want creator understand that this can be a home for, the, for their works, right? No matter market is up and down, mm. uh, it, it's a permanent home for them uh, uh, to be there uh, and uh, to be ready for the next upturn, yeah. Nice. Nice. What what's going on with the uh, the apps for uh, the whole ecosystem? Have, do you think do you see any apps coming up soon? Ecosystem apps. Mm, yeah. So just like uh, uh, we we discussed last time, so we actually are uh, working on some uh, ecosystem apps mm-hmm. uh, and also with some partners. So la- last time we mentioned music related, and uh, another one is. Uh, uh, I would say pass or card related, uh, you know. Uh, so, so actually, in, in the current Optic uh, mobile app, you can see a, a, a type of NFT is called ticket, e ticket. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so it's not on the web, but it's in the mobile app. Mm-hmm. So this is a typical uh, use case of uh, NFT functional NFT. Yeah. So uh, we're, we're still working on that. But, but you know, uh, so uh, because this is not just a functional in- implementation, it requires uh, more partners. For example, if you are a restaurant owner, if you are a theater, if, uh, so we do need to have some key partner 
to to put it into practice, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it will take more time, but yeah, we are working on that. Good, good. What opportunities do you see in the rest of the year? Is it just time to be innovative? Anything else? Yeah, so in, in the, I, I think in the rest of the year, so I, 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 I would say uh, in the NFT market, uh, uh, besides the well, constant build of uh, infrastructure, uh, I mean, layer one or layer two support. Uh, I, uh, on the consumer side, I can see more uh, ecosystem NFT application happen uh, uh, to, the, uh, to the market. Because you know the marketplace has been a very standard uh, platform uh, uh, in every project, right? So it's a, just like we said before, the uh, marketplace is a place to trade any type of NFT, just mm -hmm. like a change uh, of a digital asset. But for those digital assets to uh, maintain or grow the real value uh, with their owner, so it resides in the ecosystem application, just like a ticket uh, or a, a, a pass, right? So, so some, some unlock, unlockable contents uh, uh, some game gears. So a lot of things. So marketplace cannot do everything. My marketplace is the place to trade. Yeah. But, uh, but those applications are the place to live of those NFT. Mm. So I, I, see, I think the, the, trade, the trend for the next uh, half of year is more on more innovation on this kind, kind of a real application. Uh, so uh, because uh, the more real application happen, the more user will understand the NFT is not just a piece of JPEG, right? It's not just a collectible uh, card uh, that people don't understand what's the sustainable value. Yeah. So most people will understand it. So that will bring up the second wave of NFT. Because mm -hmm. uh, basically in my view, NFT is a container of uh, any type of a unique digital asset. So it's, it, it's mapping to our physical world. And also it will contain some uh, crypto native assets. So the, there's a, the, it's very broad. So, uh, so now uh, we only explore uh, first or second uh, category of NFT market, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a huge room to grow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's how it's, I think that's the trend for the next round of uh, NFT wave. Nice. So I was just thinking right now, you know, maybe one idea is I want to try some online party on Friday night and people can only come to my party if they have the tickets. So I sell or I release 10 or 20 tickets. So I, yeah. I, I can think that through. I know how that works. But just the other end of it, when I'm hosting the party, the, the infrastructure yeah. for me to like see people that come in have the ticket, yeah. like I, how does the ticket if, if someone has ideas like that, they should be mentioning it in the Telegram chat or they should send you a direct message or how, how can we build this infrastructure? How can we get more you know, input yeah. from the community? Hmm. Well, I, I think uh, they can, uh, currently, if it just uh, roughly describe it uh, without any, or uh, not very confidential, so they can uh, discuss in our Telegram group. Yeah, yeah. And uh, of course, uh, welcome to DM, uh, send me direct message. Mm. So. And then uh, when we see more uh, uh, topic like this, uh, we, we, we might go into establish a special channel in our Discord server okay. uh, just for this type of uh, ideas and uh, well, suggestions, right? Yeah. So, so basically we, we, we want to attract more developer uh, who uh, wants to, to create some innovative NFT applications mm. uh, on object platform we will provide all kind of technical support like APIs or SDK or kind of supports. Because, you know, uh, as I mentioned, we, we do have an infrastructure to support NFT, right? It's not just a marketplace and then a bunch of uh, uh, separate uh, applications. So we provide the common uh, infrastructure. So like for mint, transfer, manage, uh, redeem, NFT, 
all those uh, are the standard actions. So, mm -hmm. uh, and also with a standard uh, of uh, metadata. So, uh, so we do provide uh, these kind of uh, supports. So with that, if you have a very innovative idea, so you can quickly uh, turn it into a, a lightweight uh, application. Uh, so maybe in a couple of weeks, right? So that's the purpose uh, to, uh, and, and also any type of uh, NFT you created uh, on this platform, it's by default can be traded in the Optic NFT marketplace. Mm. Yeah, so basically it will create a loop uh, in the bigger ecosystem. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's, uh, let's wrap this up. Do you have any concerns at the moment about uh, the NFT industry? Any mm. concerns for the rest of the year? Well, yeah, <laughs> a lot of concerns, but that's, uh, but I also consider it as a challenge, right? To, to entrepreneurs. So mm -hmm. that's the problems we need to solve. Yeah. So be positive uh, because, uh, you know, just like we said, uh, the, uh, NFT market uh, is not mature yet. Mm -hmm. So maybe it just uh, went through the hype of the first wave. So uh, we need to be very realistic to, to see what needs to be done uh, to establish a more sustainable NFT market. For example, you know, in Optic Vision, we define us as a like three major elements, right? So we need to build the infrastructure. Yeah. Infra, including layer one and layer two related infrastructure. Then we, we need to have a marketplace. It's like a trading center for any type of unique digital asset. Mm -hmm. And the third part is the ecosystem uh, uh, group. So that's the place to store the value of the real NFT. So basically a app, ecosystem app, marketplace and infrastructure uh, is our focus. focus. But I, I, I also think this, this is, by default is a industrial trend, right? So everybody should do this uh, if they want to really move forward in, in the NFT world. Because without a, a infrastructure in place, especially business grade infrastructure in place, uh, there won't be many application uh, go into that. Mm. Because uh, maybe just a, a mini game or crypto game or, or a showcase or demo, uh, but that will not be the real business uh, from a theater owner, right? Or a, a restaurant owner. So yeah. they don't want to the guinea, guinea pig uh, for that. Mm. So we need to have this kind of a robust business class NFT infrastructure to support that, right? So mm. yeah, actually I think there's a lot of things to do. Uh, in this uh, well market situation, uh, it actually uh, make us to deeply think about that again and again. Mm -hmm. What's the essential part for the NFT um, uh, business, right? So uh, uh, it's not chasing some uh, uh, hot hot uh, trend, uh, but on the other side, we we need to build the fundamental stuff. Uh, it might not be very visible to end user, but it will be very important to, to, to build such foundation, right? So that end user, will, more and more end user can go into that through different use cases. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, a lot of concerns, but well, because of the past experience on many startups, I, I am pretty optimistic so that's the problems we need to solve right yeah. so, <laughs> it's a good attitude yeah. okay yeah. well thanks a lot for your time brian well i'll see you next time yeah take see care you next time yeah. Bye. take care